Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video and the visuals you are seeing on screen, Bayonetta 2 is now booting, loading into its menus and loading into game rendering 3D. For anybody who has played Bayonetta 2 on any platforms in the past, you can see that this screen, while performance is not perfect, is 100% rendered perfectly to how it looks on the Switch platform. So when we actually come into rendered 3D gameplay, you can see that while we are rendering some 3D elements, they are in no way rendered perfectly. When we talk about performance levels, you can see in the bottom of the Yuzu emulator window that at any time we are getting between 3, 4 and 5 frames per second. What I have done is I have sped up and matched this footage so that we are able to compare it, at least in these cutscenes, to how it actually looks on the Nintendo Switch itself. So once we do actually get into some gameplay, you are going to see in a few moments that our render quality is much much better than we are actually seeing in these cutscenes. I just wanted to make you guys aware that we are rendering these cutscenes however improperly we are doing them at this very moment in time. So to be honest, I wasn't expecting anything to render due to the fact that in yesterday's Canary build for Yuzu emulator, this game, while it was actually rendering something, you basically couldn't make out what that something was, it, mostly due to the fact that all of the character models, game models, enemy models, building models, you name it, every single model in the game had massive vertex explosions happening, meaning that they were completely blown out and unrecognizable. So let's just skip this cutscene now and we're going to get ourselves into some gameplay. And there you go. Even though you can see that this gameplay footage is still sped up, you can see in the bottom of our window we're only getting 4, 5 and 6 FPS, render quality is actually quite good and is not something that I had expected to see when I booted into this screen. You can see that UI wise there are still some slight render and opacity issues perhaps. It is still rendered very very well when you consider the age of this emulator and just how unexpected this was for me to see when I booted into game. So here we are in the very first gameplay passage and as with all of the other scenes I've shown from gameplay, we are getting 3, 4, 5 and 6 FPS at any given time and I have had to speed this gameplay footage up just so I can show you the render quality and exactly how this game is now looking, not running on this emulator currently. So performance wise, it's not great because it's a very experimental emulator and to be honest, it shouldn't be even rendering this well at this point in time, but here we are, it's rendering not perfectly, but if this had better performance, you could potentially consider this playable. I myself have played through four levels now, and I've not experienced any crashes, and despite the very bad performance levels and the fact that it took me about four hours to reach the stage that I'm currently at in the game, and to get this gameplay footage for this video, it took about an hour and 15 minutes, give or take a few minutes. Um, I, it's just crazy to think that this game is in any way compatible, like it has any kind of compatibility on this emulator at this given point in time. So for anybody who isn't aware, Bayonetta 2 is only available on the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. It's not available on PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360 or Xbox One due to the fact that it is published by Nintendo themselves. So a lot of people in the emulation community will be aware that this game also runs on Simu emulator, the emulator for the Wii U. But despite the fact that performance on that emulator is very very good and render quality is practically perfect when you use the GX2 draw done setting, the game itself is just very unstable and just still has random crashes, it has out of sync audio and it just soft locks at random situations in gameplay either on audio or on graphical issues. So here's a crazy idea, imagine if Yuzu emulator became the most stable place to play Bayonetta 2 on the PC platform. How crazy would that be? It would just be, it would just be the most insane thing when you consider how uh, how young this emulator is, and I can see it happening with the progress we've been seeing in the past few weeks, months, and the progress I can imagine we're going to see in the future. This emulator is going to be an absolute smash hit in the emulation community. So if you guys want to help with the development of this emulator, the best way to do it is to support them over on their Patreon so that they can continue their work and make this emulator as good as it can possibly be, both now and into the future. 
I think that they have 100% proved both in their capabilities in the past with Citra emulator, the 3DS emulator and all of the progress we've been seeing in the past few months and weeks on this emulator that they are definitely capable of delivering us a very very functional emulator. So you can find a link to their Patreon down in the description of this video. Once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you want to help support me and my YouTube channel, you can also do so by either donating or heading on over to the BSOD Gaming Patreon. Either of those links can be found down in the description of this video. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.